What is happening guys, it's your boy Gajetsu and this is my most wanted walkthrough and we is gonna be doing Firefly's most wanted mission. Someone's attacked the fire station in Bristol. I'm going to put out the blaze and find who's responsible. So I recently played Arkham Origins and I completed it. Like I said, I got all the Arkham games in my Steam library because I kept Arkham Knight throughout December and I didn't really have to refund it because I got it on my graphics card, my GTX 970. I recently just played Arkham Origins, bro I gotta say I enjoyed the hell out of it. Despite the fact that the game had a lot of bugs and glitches and the predictable story and all the continuity errors. One of the reasons why I enjoyed Arkham Origins more was because this game actually ran well and it was more optimized than Arkham Knight is. And the other reason why I enjoyed it more was because the story, even though it was predictable, it was way more interesting than this game in my opinion. The boss fights in that game were way, way better than this game. Your friend, the power to the fire suppression system has been cut. I need to get it back online to get the blaze under control. After playing Arkham Knight several times, I've grown to appreciate what Arkham Origins did in that game. Firefly. You beat me once. That's a long time ago. You know what's funny, the people that made the port for this game is the same studio or the same, yeah, the same studio that made the port for Arkham Origins and Arkham Origins ran well, ran really well, it was more optimized than this game. So it is pretty obvious that they completely rushed these guys to make this port. And Iron Galaxy Studios has only 12 people in their team and they barely have any track records of them making PC ports. But I gotta hand it to Iron Galaxy though because for what they had for resources, I'm surprised that the game even functioned during the release date for this game despite the fact that they had a limited time to work on the game and the amount of manpower they had but if you look at Arkham Origins, that was a working product. Arkham Origins was more optimized than this game was. I believe we've met that charming pyromaniac before. Firefly. It seems Scarecrow made everyone aware that Gotham would be defenseless tonight. He's dangerous, Alfred. Keep watch for more fires. Alright, that's the first part done. We gotta look for Firefly again. We gotta watch out for them burning buildings. Uh, we're gonna be going to the Founder's Island. And we're gonna be checking out the fire station building over there I'm just gonna mark it on the map and there's another one in Bleak Island but we're gonna go check out the Founders Island first so yeah man WB is shady as hell and they really need to fix their view on the PC community because now that we have steam refunds and now we can speak with our wallets they can't really get away with releasing broken products like this game. This game is fixed now and it's running way better but this shouldn't have been the case. It should have been like this day one. And we don't want publishers to think this is the norm releasing a broken product and then patching it later on. It's just nah bruh that's just not how you do it. But anyway yeah regarding the PC port for this game. 
You know what companies should do nowadays or developers should do nowadays is to focus more on the PC version. You know, make the game ground up from PC and then downgrade it to make it playable for consoles. That should be the case nowadays since the Xbox One and PS4 is basically like a PC. I know this might be regarding the fact that companies or developers just see consoles as a much more mainstream and popular platform so that they focus more on the consoles rather than the PC version and we went to the wrong island frick so yeah since games are already made from PC why don't they just focus more on the PC version you know make it the best as it can be and then downscale it because downscaling is easier than upscaling something if they focus on the PC version first that means PC gamers are gonna have the game at the same time the consoles are getting their release date as well so it's a win-win for both sides so it should be easier to port stuff now since P uh, PS4 and Xbox One are like PCs and I know people are gonna be like yo you should just delay a game like how GTA 5 delayed the PC version but there's a con to that though we have to wait and I know you have to be patient to get a good game but why can't they just do the opposite why can't they just make the game ground up polish it up on PC and then downscale it to consoles you know what I mean if you want to maximize your profit why don't you just you know make all of the platforms happy by doing this Firefly is referencing from the time where we fought him at the bridge in Arkham Origins. Rocksteady did say that Arkham Origins was canon but it's not entirely canon. There's some stuff from Arkham Origins that is canon. Like about half of them, not all of them is canon. I bet Rocksteady were just being nice saying that Arkham Origins was canon. Even though Arkham Origins was kind of a clusterfuck because of the continuity errors. I still enjoy the game but like there's so much errors in that game dude. But I respected the game for what it is after I finished it. And after playing Arkham Knight about like 5 times now I think. Or no I didn't complete it 5 times. I completed it 3 times. Well, because, you know, the story was just a bit disappointing in this game. And the lack of boss battles just really put me off in this game. And that is why I did not complete this game more than three times. You can't stop me, Batman. Gotham will be ashes by God. in with Firefly, sir. Just like the last time. He's attacking fire stations. Perhaps he takes their work personally, sir. Keep tabs on the other stations, Alfred. Let me know when he strikes. So yeah, that's why I'm not replaying this game as much because every time I replay it, it becomes less satisfying. It's not like the other Arkham games where you just feel this, you know, this really... I don't know how to put this but I'm pretty sure it's cause of Paul Dini's writing or the way he just set up the game's mood you know it just had that I don't know it felt like an Arkham not Arkham but an animated series type of vibe you know that's why I was that was the type of vibe I was getting the people who watched or grew up with Batman as a kid Arkham Asylum and Arkham City is like reliving the animated series a little bit it was pretty cool that's why I fell in love with the Arkham games and I'm thankful for Rocksteady for creating the Arkham games. And I can't wait for other developers to step in and make more Batman games. Hopefully uh, WB Montreal is learning from their mistakes 
from Arkham Origins. And I can't wait to see what Rocksteady does next. I just can't wait to see what they're gonna do up next. And yes, I heard about the Batman Telltale game coming out this year. And I'm definitely gonna be covering that soon. And that game is not an Arkham game. So for those of you thinking that's an Arkham game, it is not an Arkham game. It's a point and click game and it's story driven, so... Power to the fire suppression system has been cut. I need to get it back online to get the blaze under control. If you guys don't know anything about Telltale, they make story driven games such as the Walking Dead series, those are fucking awesome. So yeah, like I said, Rock City took stuff from Arkham Origins and made it canon. But in Arkham Asylum, you do encounter Firefly again because there were posters and newspapers about Firefly attacking Gotham. So Batman before Arkham Asylum or during it, they encountered again. But here in the dialogue he did mention a bridge and he was talking about the bridge in Arkham Origins so there's a lot there's kind of an inconsistency there but <laughs> I gave up on the continuity already I just see Arkham Knight as its little Arkham universe you know what I mean and Arkham Asylum and Arkham City just man those are just too well connected and for some reason for Arkham Knight it didn't really feel like it was a sequel to Arkham City, it just, it just, I don't know, it just didn't feel connected. Maybe because, like I said, Paul Dini wasn't in this game, so that's probably why it didn't feel like the way it did. So yeah, this is pretty much it with Firefly, I just chased him around with the Batmobile. Pretty repetitive, I gotta say. But it is what it is. It's pretty simple, all you gotta do is just chase around him. Avoid the fires, wait for him to run out of his fuel gas. And I gotta say, Arkham Origins really nailed the boss fight for this guy. Because in Arkham Origins, the boss battle was a bit more complex. This one is a bit more simple. And that's why Arkham Origins, man, that's what WB Montreal did right. Uh, because you're only freaking chasing around this guy around Gotham City. Would have been interesting if you chase around Firefly for the first bit and in the second or third encounter we get to fight him like some kind of fight like in the Arkham Origins era. It would have been more satisfying. him up. <laughs> no! Batman, on your feet, Lins. You will burn for this. All of you! Been wanting to add this to the collection for a while. Keep kicking ass out there, Batman. Ah, third degree burns. The cracked, leathery skin. That delightful, waxy sheen. If I had to choose, I think burns would probably be my favorite scar tissue. Well, burns and mental scars. Right, Bruce? <laughs> uh, man, so yeah, um, in New Game Plus mode, I didn't finish the main story. And I held off from doing it so that I can keep Joker for a little while. Because his dialogue is pretty good. But anyway, this has been the Firefly Most Wanted mission completed. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And that is about it. Shoots.